He insists. He just likes me so much. He insists. I was touching him. I kept touching him all night. On the elbow. On the knee. I leaned in. I nuzzled him when I hugged him. He just misread my signals wrong. That's all. That's why he grabbed me, pulled my hair, squeezed me. After I told him that I was not ready to be sexual with him, that I had only known him for less than 36 hours, that I'd been through some shit, that I like to take things slow. That was before. Then you must have thought I changed my mind because of the way I hugged you, because of the polite way that I kissed your tree cheek trying to ensure you that I wasn't going to send you to the dreaded quote friend zone unquote because I did like you I thought that I liked you I thought that maybe because you were a volunteer at the fucking inner individual world poetry slam who is on the sixth episode of your podcast. I thought, I thought, (laughs) I thought because you liked me so much, but you say you just like me so much that you just couldn't help it. You just can't even stop yourself. You like hugging me so much, it's hard to stop. That's what you said, right? Well, now, if you don't want to be sexual, <laughs> you know what? You're telling me that, you know, it's, it's just hard to accept, you said, right? Like telling you there's this whole playground that you can't play on. And all you want to do is go wild and run around. I... And the amusement park. Knowing me is an amusement park. That's one fucking ride. So from now on, you know, I won't... I'll be more careful, more aware of if I touch them. I can't... I don't want to touch them. Let them confuse... Me being an affectionate human being for wanting to be groped, grabbed, squeezed, bitten, breathed on, breathed into. Well, you've got a handful of my hair. Gripped in your fist. You don't do this with just anybody. I'm just so sexy. You just like me so much. And besides, they're disbanding eye whips anyways. What what good does it do for me to report you? Like when my boss grabbed and groped me in a room full of people, including his current pregnant girlfriend. He didn't really grab me, though. He didn't even really grope me. He just turned his body sideways as we passed in a thick crowd. Dozens of people all dancing, having fun. He straightened his fingers and put his hand between my legs and pressed his fingers up into my pussy lips and ran them from clit to asshole. They call it a credit card. I had to find that out after the fact. Because my drunk-ass boyfriend was passed out in the other room. 
and I was forced to hide my shock and disgust and shame and sickness in front of all these people after he violated me and I looked over my shoulder in horror at him behind me smiling and then looked over to his pregnant fucking girlfriend whose face was twisted in horror. She was the only other person in the room who caught it. I'm sure because she was looking for it. The next day at work, he asked me, he told me my new hair looked good and that the carpets matched the drapes. Well, I finally shouted in my head, enough, 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 just report him, just report him. He shouldn't do this anymore. He can't do this anymore to other women. I had to justify it that way, not just to me, to other women. Because I don't want to be a complainer. I love this job. This job is the biggest opportunity I've had in my life so far. At what, 24, 22? Maybe 23. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to bring in my journal. Of all those miserable, nasty things he said to me. He doesn't say them to the other girls. He wouldn't say them to anyone. He just likes me so much. I'm just so goddamn sexy. He just can't help himself. He turned in his letter of resignation at 5 p.m. I still wonder what would have happened if I showed up that day with my journal in hand. Like, I don't know, maybe I should have. Because now no one's reported him. Has anyone else reported him? When is it even worth it?